Hello, hello, hello. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I had a request from Feral. I think it's Feral underscore, but I'm just going to say Feral. To uh, look at Kindle Ballistics NV4 Redux or Redo. Now this is ported by Coca Z93. And let's see, who was the original author of this? War Whoa, okay. Credits and thanks, PC version. So, I'm not sure if it's all of these people or if it's mainly Warfighter or if it's all these people. So, that's credits, credits and thanks to all those folks. Um, I'm going to assume since Warfighter was first that this is probably... Warfighters main mainly Warfighters mod, but I don't know that for sure. Wonderful thing about this weapon is that it is craftable at the Kim station. Thank you very much. This adds the NV4 from Infinite Warfare and its variants, basic to legendary, and it looks like there are a lot of variations of this weapon, which is great. It's a lot of fun. Um, it's going to be, look. if you look at the size of this mod, it's a big mod for one weapon, so it needs to have a lot. It needs to have a lot of that variation, a lot of things you can do with it. It's uh, almost 274 megabytes for one weapon. That's big, but, you know, if it's a fun weapon and it has a lot of variation and as you level your character, you can add to it and make it better and change it up, that would be fun. That would make it good. I'll try to go through and show some of the different variations we can do. There are a lot of different attachments and things. They, um, you know, uh, let's see. Let me just read this a little bit. I want each gun to be unique and viable for situations. I don't want one gun to be OP forever. Over another gun, each rifle will be suited for specific situations but can be upgraded. And I think what they're talking about is all the different variations of this weapon. <clears throat> because it's really, if I understand this right, it's really going to be one weapon, but there's going to be a lot of variations, a lot of things you can do. So I think it sounds really great. Um, it certainly looks cool. And we've had some fun with something similar to this before, but not exactly this. And this is pretty big. This is probably going to have a lot of cool stuff with it. At least I'm hopeful. And, uh, you know, we're going to pop out of here and we're going to get on Jenny and, and basically start this up. She, she definitely would like to have that weapon and maybe go kill some people somewhere or something. So that's what we're going to do. Load screen. The NV4 is the first load screen I got. <laughs> so I just wanted you to see this. So I'm just showing it to you real quickly. This is the first load screen I got after, uh, you know, enabling the uh, NV4 mod. I don't think that's bad at all. It's kind of cool. The other, uh, the other Kindle Ballistics I did from uh, Warfighter did that mod did similarly. And the first thing it starts to show you is the uh, <clears throat> is the picture for the gun in that mod. So I just thought that would be of interest to you. So I'm not going to keep this forever, but just give you a little quick look at it. All right, all right. So we got uh, Jenny here at the uh, Kim station. Now, yours is not going to look like mine, but if you scroll down to Warfighter's Factory, here we go. You'll find the NV4 waiting to be created. I'm going to create two, and we're just going to, we might even do three and just mess around with them because this sounds like, matter of fact, maybe we'll do three. Two, three. Because it sounds like there's going to be a lot of... There's a lot of stuff involved in making it. But it sounds like there's going to be a lot of modding that we can do to it. Or changes. Upgrades. So. Let's head over here. And you know what? Let me go clear my inventory out. I'll be back in just a moment. That'll make this easier. All right, so that's better. I still have some weapons here, but not as many. So this is what we're looking at. The Marksman's Automatic Kindle Ballistics in, pardon me, NV4. 
<coughs> so let's see. Now I'm not sure what we're looking at here. Okay, well this is just the standard, I suppose. So this is these are different variations, exalted, vigilance, okay. I'm not sure what these different variations mean. So we're, we're going to do a standard one. A standard ice, iron sights, that's right. Attachments, make attachments. Do we want to even have attachments? Does it have any attachments? It has no attachments. Did that do anything for us? It didn't require anything, so I don't think that really... Candy perks, double your bullets, double your fun, explosions won't get you down. Okay, these are fun things you can do. Hm, I don't think you understand the gravity of this situation, zero G. So we'll play around with some of that. Right now I'm going to leave that alone. No flashlight, that's fine. No charm, that's fine. See if you add the charms or the little things that stick on the side of the gun. I've seen this before. It's cute. It's fun stuff. Um, definitely something you can have a good time with. It's not anything necessary. But, again, nothing wrong with having a little fun. Um, something just moved or changed. Hmm, seems okay now. Factory material, meaning we didn't change anything. Oh, this wants pre-war money to give you a paint job. Okay, well that's interesting. For the most part, I don't think I care about that, but that's interesting. And then damage, you can improve your dent. That went back to factory material. Oh, okay. Um, Something isn't quite right here. Okay, now you can get to your... So, it looks like it might be a little wonky. You just have to kind of work with it. Um, it looks like it wants pre-war money for some of this stuff. That's funny. I think I have some pre-war money. I'll go make some extra so that we can mess around with it. Hold on. This won't take but a minute. I really need to turn this on so that we can see, and I apologize for that, but that's just the way it is. I try to do stuff where I'm getting some good pictures, and I don't want the HUD always showing, but sometimes that works against us, doesn't it? So let's just let's just be like super rich with the pre-war money. Let's go with 2048. I think it's here, isn't it? No? Maybe it's junk, yeah. Yeah, here we go. Alright, so let's store. To store them all. Oh, there we go. And now let's take it all. Alright, so now we got a bunch of pre-war money. If you use the cheat room, knowing, you know, knowing these little things you can do, it's good. I'm sure I did not use it to its full potential. Alright, so here's this. This is the one we messed with, and we really didn't change it very much. But it's not the same as the original ones we made, because I changed, I turned the attachments on, I guess. So let's do one. This is going to be in the middle of the road. Let's do Fallout version. Right? Yeah. Let's do Fallout version. Fallout. Instead of Iron Sights, let's do... Oh, we're getting some... That means some textures aren't loaded. Oh, was that a mistake? Choosing the Fallout? Maybe, because I think some textures have not loaded. Okay, hold on. How about Flatline? Would be Flatline be better? Yeah, flatline appears to be better. 
Unless they intended, maybe they intended Fallout to be colored like that. Maybe so. I would not want it to be pink like that, though. That would, that was hurting my eyes. And that makes me think, well, maybe they intentionally did it pink. You know how some games have been doing bright, bright colors. So maybe that's intentional. That's just not what I would have preferred. But since it looks like it is intentional, let's move on. Let's do the VMC, and then we'll do, okay, accessories. Let's see what our options are. A lot of, a lot of accessories. Let's do the FMJ. Candy perks. Woo, candy perks. Let's see, what do we want? We have zero G. Do we want quickies? Reload in a flash. Use this with vertical grip. Reload in a flash without vertical grip. And we'll go without the vertical grip because I'm not guaranteeing I'm going to have the vertical grip. Do we want the flashlight? Where's the flashlight at? I'm not sure I'm seeing the flashlight. But let's just roll with it. Okay, no charm. Let's do the panda charm. We'll say we'll say this is for um, potastic panda. We're doing the uh, the wait. It gave me a stand. It gave me something else. No, it gave me the panda standard ammo counter. Okay, whatever. Y'all are confusing me. Factory material. Now here's where is this gonna. Wouldn't this affect the paint job on there? Yeah, I see it would. Does that even make sense? I'm not sure this makes sense. Let's go back. See, I don't know what each of these are. Let's take a look at each one of these. See, these have their own paint jobs. Why am I... Hmm, I'm a little confused. But these give you certain benefits. But they also affect the appearance of your gun. Maybe if I went with this one, Flatline, which is more black. And then if we change our factory material, yeah, then the paint job shows better. And you could do one of these. Well, they offer quite a few. Should we do Neon Tiger? I don't know. Neon Tiger. Murdered, murdered out. Hey, look how black that is. That's nice. Let's go with that. Murderous pleasure. Okay, we'll go with that. I'm sure Jenny will appreciate that. Alright, so murdered out. Now we're going to do damage. And we'll just give her a little extra damage. We won't do... Let's do the 60% and then we'll do 90% on the other one. Okay. So... So this was the one that we really didn't do much to. This is the base one, and then this is the one we just did. So we're going to take this base one, and we're just going to try to soup it up. Let's give it Honey Bee. I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, it looks pretty good. Let's give it... Do we want it to have Thermal? I guess we do. Let's go thermal. Accessory suppressor. Can that even be suppressed? That's a four grip. I think I would rather have the suppressor. So let's do the suppressor. Candy perks. 
Do we want to try? Let's try the zero G. I know we're just asking for trouble. I will do a save. I'll try to remember to do a save. Um, let's add the flashlight. And let's do this time. Let's do. Do we want to do the teddy bear charm or? I don't understand the salter. Honestly, I can't tell what that is. I guess. Um. We could just do the smuggy octopus. Um, yeah, let's do the octopus. Why not? So let's do that. And um, let's see. What else? Factory material. We have some choices. Let's see. There's the zebra, the wilderness, the whiteout. I don't know. I think we'll just go with the Zebra. And we'll just increase our damage to 90%. See, sometimes the menu messes up and it brings me back to the wrong thing. But just work your way through this and don't worry too much about that. But it does goof up sometimes. So there, now that one is the Recon Advanced. Now that is the most advanced one. And then, this is the standard one, and this is the murdered out, the middle of the road one, which still sounds pretty fun, really. So, I'm going to exit this. Now, I am going to save, because that one, i do a quick save, that one has the possibility of putting us in zero G, and I'm not sure what that's going to do. <laughs> but, it sounds pretty fun, really. So let's go over here. Let's see, which one was this? Is this the, okay, that's the middle of the road one. Let's start with the basic one. This is the basic one? Yeah. All right, so let's start with this one. All right. It is quick fire. I'm not sure. Oh, look at that. You dodged. You dodged. You didn't dodge. Okay. So now that is third person. Let's do a first person because I think that's more fun. Notice the aim is still just a little bit, you know. It's the old Fallout 4 aiming. Has a good sound to it though. Has a good sound, it feels good. Oh, we got some caps. Don't turn your back to us. You will regret it. Yeah, it has a good sound, it feels good. Now this is just the base, okay, so if you're starting out early in the game, yeah, it's not bad, it's got a good animation. So I think that's pretty cool, we need to switch up to the other one. So let's try our middle of the road. Yeah, they all use the same ammo, I was just wondering, let's try our middle of the road version. Notice the little panda? That's cute. Look at that. This feels like extremely more powerful. Still has a good sound. I always like this style of aiming. I don't know if I like everything having the thermal on it like that. But the thing is, when they're dead, they don't have it, so you know they're dead. So there is good to that. And the gun looks cool. It definitely does look cool. And the, the little, <laughs> little panda is funny. I'm easily amused there. So there we go. 
Dun dun dun! Die! Die, everyone die, die. Die, we don't like you, die. Oh, we reloaded. You only get 30 shots. How many am I firing in a burst? I heard one, two, I'm not doing too bad. I'm not being wasteful with my shots. Oh, I missed. Oh, I missed again. So, okay, I am being wasteful. Oh, headshot, headshot. Another headshot. Anyway, you get the idea. And you can, you can spray and pray if you need to. Eventually, of course, you're going to run out of bullets. <laughs> and reload. But it's a fast reload, if you notice that. So, I really, really do like this weapon. It's very good. I'm not sure, you know... We have to do this from the third person. I'm not sure if it's really worth that much space, but it does offer a lot of options. And it has a nice sound, it feels good, and it works well. In third person and first person. Let's switch up to the Recon Advance. Now this was the absolute... <laughs> you can't see the octopus that good. <laughs> but um, this is the absolute... Well, you still only get like 30 rounds, but... Is it firing faster? No, I don't think... Well, it might be. But nonetheless... The zoomed in shooting is great. The reload looks good. And you can see the octopus when you reload. Boom, boom, boom. The raider scum is down. Oops, sorry, I hit the wrong button. So that's cool. That works really well. Oh, and it shows like she zoomed in. That's cool. All right, so let's do, let's try this. It's just a third person variation, not much different. I just thought we would try it. Look at the zebra painting on it, that's pretty cool. Yeah, if you notice, I mean, they do a good job on these. Look at that, like she zoomed in again. So, oh, and when you, even in third person, you get the sniper view, so that's good. And then you got the reload, so all that works very well. It's a very nice weapon. You can still spray and spray. Whoa! Except I missed him totally. That was terrible. Duh, duh, everybody duh. So I think that works very well. Now, we didn't go to town and get into real trouble, I know, but you have to admit the gun is very nice. No matter which version you use, it works very well. Oh, the little kitty has a thermal glow. Anyway. Oh, they give it to the, to the robot, too. How interesting. Hmm. All right, but really, I, I think that's everything to see on this. I mean, you get a lot of different options with this gun. And uh, now, of course, if you're leveling your crafting, if you don't just cheat and start your crafting out at top, at the top level, then as you level your crafting, you're going to get to grow this gun with you throughout the game and add things to it, and it, it will be that would be a lot of fun doing it like that. Um, if you're doing the super cheat like me and you just want to start out with the hugely overpowered gun at the beginning of the game, you can use the cheat room and do that, definitely. But um, that's an option. But this has been the Kindle Ballistics NV4 Redux or Redo, depending on how you want to say that. Um, let's see, this was done by Coca Z93. They ported it but uh, I believe the actual credit and thanks go to Warfighter and this whole crew here. So, <clears throat> it's a very nice gun, like I said, very nice weapon. Jenny seemed to enjoy using it to kill those guys. And it does look nice. I mean, just look at them. Hold on, let me bring up my inventory instead of that. 
they look nice, and you get to add silly stuff to them, which I, I always approve of a little silly stuff. That's that's good. You know what? Wait just a minute. Wasn't this supposed to be zero G? Are we zero G? I don't think we're zero G. I don't see any evidence of zero G. Let me go look that up at the modification thing and see. Maybe it's just a joke. It's fine if it is. It's not a problem. But I can't tell that we're zero G. <laughs> I'm just saying, I expected zero G. Candy perks. Zero G. I don't think you understand the gravity of this situation. God health have more. Well, it's okay. You can have punch them in the face. So I maybe all this is just for fun. So anyway, it's all right. Was she just running in place? Well, it doesn't hurt her if she does that. All right. So I'm getting distracted again. I'm not going to go back through the load on the mod. That is the Kindle Ballistics MV4 uh, from Warfighter and those guys. And uh, it's a very good. Let me just bring the. I can bring that up in our inventory. Very good weapon. A lot of fun to be had and a lot of versatility and a lot of things you can do to improve it as you go through your game. Oh, matter of fact, let's look at the the base model. Because you may start out with just a base model like this, which is still a very good gun and, and a lot of fun. So, alright. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day. And I will catch you later. All right, you've been duly warned. This is the shield, okay? Please subscribe to the channel and watch more videos. I mean, what else are you going to do with your time anyway? It's either this or take a nap. And don't be saying you're napping down in the comments.